February 21, Mark 5, 21 to 43. Verse 21. And having passed over Jesus in the ship again to the other side, was gathered a crowd great to him, and he was by the sea. 22. And behold, comes one of the rulers of the synagogue, by name Jairus, and seeing him falls at his feet. 23. And he besought him much, saying, My little daughter is at the last extremity. I pray that having come, you would lay on her your hands, so that she may be cured and she shall live. 24. And he departed with him, and followed him a crowd great, and pressed on him. 25. And a woman, certain being with a flux of blood, years twelve. 26. And much having suffered under many physicians, and having spent her means all, and in no way having benefited, but rather to worse having come. 27. Having heard concerning Jesus, having come in the crowd behind, touched his garment. 28. For she said, If but his garments I shall touch, I shall be cured. 29. And immediately was dried up the fountain of her blood, and she knew in her body that she was healed from the scourge. 30. And immediately Jesus, knowing in himself that the out of him power had gone forth, having turned in the crowd, said, Who of me touched the garments? 31. And said to him, his disciples, You see the crowd pressing on you, and say you, Who me touched? 32. And he looked round to see her who this had done. 33. But the woman, being frightened and trembling, knowing what had been done upon her, came and fell down before him, and told him all the truth. 34. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has cured you. Go in peace, and be sound from scourge your. 35. While yet he is speaking, They come from the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying, Your daughter is dead. Why still trouble you the teacher? 36. But Jesus, immediately having heard the word spoken, says to the ruler of the synagogue, Not fear, only believe. 37. And he suffered no one him to accompany, except Peter and James and John, the brother of James. 38. And he comes to the house of the ruler of the synagogue. And he beholds a tumult people, weeping and wailing greatly. 39. And having entered, he says to them, Why make you a tumult and weep? The child is not dead, but sleeps. 40. And they laughed at him, but he, having put out all, takes with him, the father of the child, and the mother, and those with him, and enters in where was the child lying. 41. And having taken the hand of the child, he says to her, Talitha kum, which is, being interpreted, damsel to you, I say, arise. 42. And immediately arose the damsel and walked, for she was years twelve old. And they were amazed with amazement great. 43. And he charged them much that no one should know this. And he said that something should be given to her to eat.